Hi, welcome to uh, walk number 10. We are starting with plant number 106. This is Buxus sempervirens. Of course, that, that uh, specific epithet means evergreen, and certainly this is an evergreen uh, shrub. This is a common boxwood. So a few easy ID features for common boxwood. One, it, it, first of all, it's a, it's a ubiquitous shrub. You find it from the, the gardens of um, uh, the UK to Oregon and everywhere in between. <clears throat> hedges very well, so that's why you oftentimes find it in the very formal landscapes because it does uh, tolerate hedging uh, very well. Easy way to tell it from your small leaf hollies, your Japanese hollies, are, is that it, it has oppositely arranged leaves. So that's one good ID feature. Uh, they are, uh, these oppositely arranged leaves are entire, so that means they have no teeth on the margins. They oftentimes are emarginate, means they have a small notch at the tip. They often have this creamy uh, midrib down below that can be uh, downy, particularly early in the season. And they have a grooved stem that gives it this feeling when you roll it between your fingers, it feels like it's squared off. It's actually just a deeply grooved uh, stem. <clears throat> Some interesting things about uh, um, Buxus sempervirens. One, this fruit is really unique. It actually looks like a, a number of our fruit in the um, uh, Hemimelidaceae. So it looks like a Hemimelis fruit, actually, uh, or um, Parodia, but it's not. <clears throat> uh, another interesting fact about uh, Buxus sempervirens is that it does uh, oftentimes smell like urine during a good portion of the year, and so it's not uncommon to see uh, um, small um, uh, specimens of Buxus sempervirens that are discolored. Uh, oftentimes this will be from dogs coming up and uh, urinating on them uh, to mark their territory. So anyway, that is the uh, ubiquitous uh, common boxwood Buxus sempervirens.